Hello Cancer viewers, I'm sorry for the delay. This video might be a little bit shorter than the other ones. I'm going to do a regular length video on the 15th, but just bear with me. So what do you guys need to know right now? I am detached from the karmic. I'm planning out a way to finally end things with them. So this could be a third party situation. This could also be karmic cycles that were keeping you apart. You know, this could be work, friends, rumors. It could be a number of different things. But it looks like someone's detaching from whatever it was that was keeping you guys apart. They want to say that they've never felt this way before. You hold a key, clear the path for love to enter. I'm jealous. I'm afraid that you already are or that you will end up dating somebody else. So this could be someone, maybe it's been a while since you guys have talked. So they're not sure if you're still interested. You know, it says you come off as uninterested and detached. It might not even be your energy. It might just be that it's been a while. And so they're not really sure where they stand with you at this point in your life. Like maybe it's just been so much, maybe so much time has gone by that they just really don't know if you would still be interested in a connection with them after everything. I'm afraid of getting hurt, but I'm willing to take a leap of faith for you. I'm working hard to remove all the obstacles that have been keeping us apart. Yeah, so whatever has been separating you guys, this person's working on it. I lied to you. You came on strong and I wasn't ready for it. I feel like this person might have detached from you because they either had a third party situation going on or they just weren't ready for that kind of connection. Like they had never felt that way before. So I think that they lied about their feelings. I think that they might have, I mean, lied in like a negative sense. Like they might have, um, you know, kind of, kind of played aloof a little bit. Or they might have said that they had... It was just a lot on their plate, a lot going on, that they were busy, and the truth might have been that they were dealing with a third-party situation. Maybe they were in a process of getting a divorce. That kind of that kind of energy is what I'm picking up here. But yeah, they felt like they weren't ready for it. I feel like they're very vulnerable with you, and they're not used to being that way either. I feel like the karmic that they were with, if they were with a karmic, I feel like the karmic is drastically different than you. Like, he or she is just much different. Like, their energy is much different than yours. I'm romantic and I'm emotional. I usually hide it well, but you bring out my softer side. I will always find you. I will always come back for you. I'm ready for commitment. I've grown up. So yeah, it just feels like someone who kind of had to go down their own path. I feel like they were kind of immature and childish when you guys were together. Like they just weren't ready for the kind of love that you guys had. I feel like it was just a little bit too intense for them in that moment. I feel like this is somebody, I'm getting like a musician for some of you as well. I'm getting like musician energy here. But yeah, I just get the energy of someone that, it's like they weren't expecting you. It's like they felt so strongly for you and they weren't really expecting that. And I think that they lied to you about what they had going on in their life. I feel like they might have been in a relationship when they met you. Or they might have been going through a divorce. Or they might have had, they had something on their plate is what I'm getting something that was very intense and they didn't want to burden with burden you with that. And maybe they didn't know how to express it. Like maybe you thought, maybe they thought that you wouldn't understand if they were going through a divorce. Maybe they thought the divorce process would be easier than it was, but the karmic was really holding on and trying to make their life hell. But I'm getting the energy here that it's like they, they had some stuff going on. They had secrets from you and I feel like they lied to you and they, they held back. I feel like there was also a lot of fear. Like I said, I feel like they just weren't used to you. They weren't ready for you. I feel like they had their whole life plan. Like they were trying to get their, their ducks in a row. And when you came into their life, their ducks were definitely not in a row at all. I feel like you came into this person's life at a very chaotic, like it was a very chaotic time in their life when you guys met or when you guys were, you know, dating or hanging out, whatever was going on there. I feel like they, it just feels like, I just get the energy of it just being very unexpected. Like they just, they hadn't healed from whatever karmic cycle they had just wrapped up. And I feel like maybe they needed to meet you when they did because maybe they needed help ending that karmic cycle. Maybe they needed your support and your love to help them stand up for themselves and really get out of that karmic cycle. Maybe they needed help to, um, 
It's like, I feel like you, you kind of help them love themselves a little bit more. So I almost feel like it's one of those situations where it's like you were meant to meet when you did, but it was just not the right timing quite yet. I feel like maybe it just feels like there was like a tower moment going on in their life. And I feel like when you came in, it caused more tower moments, but like in a positive way, if that makes sense, it's almost like it was like you gave them a certain energy to help change their life and change them as a person. Maybe it was like a like tough love or you kind of show them the kind of man or kind of woman they want to be. You know what I mean? It's like you gave them something. It's like you're their unicorn. You know, you gave them something to fight for. I just feel like in that that at that time they, you know, they they had secrets. They lied to you about what was going on in their life and they they were really stressed out. I'm getting like a very high strung stressed out energy. Lots of lots of karmic cycles wrapping up, lots of chaos. So it was not the right time for them. They were definitely not ready for you. But I think that you were the catalyst for change in their lives. Like, I, I think that you really helped them. And it looks like, you know, they're wanting to come back around. It feels like they have grown up. They're they're ready for commitment now. It does feel like they're scared. Like, they're really not used to you. They're not used to the kind of person you are, the kind of connection that you guys have. It's not an energy that they're really familiar with. You know, like they said, they're romantic and emotional, but they usually hide it from most people. But with you, they're very vulnerable. They're very open. But they did lie to you. So you need to, you know, if this is your story, then it looks like there was, and it might not be like a straight up lie, but it's more like the energy that, you know, maybe they downplayed things. Like they said, oh, like we're getting a divorce, but they didn't tell you how chaotic and messy it really was. Like maybe you knew that they were in the process of like leaving a, like moving out or leaving an old karmic situation or you know, like maybe you kind of knew that there was some drama in their life, but you didn't know the extent of it. You didn't know just how bad the drama was. You know, I feel like they kind of downplayed all the drama and the chaos they were going through. Maybe they didn't want to put that burden on you. Like they just felt like it was too intense. Like you just, they, you know, like you were just very light and sweet and loving and they didn't want to bring that drama and chaos into your life. So they kind of just downplayed it and just kind of slowly backed away from you and got caught up with all this other drama but it's look like it looks like that karmic cycle is wrapped up it looks like they've detached from that it looks like they're it looks like they've done some soul searching it looks like they have grown up it looks like they are ready for a commitment there's someone new coming into your life i'm thinking about what you said yeah i feel like i mean this could actually be a new person but i feel like this could be just like a new version of them also it could even be two people coming in but it, it's like something you said, I feel like maybe you just, I feel like you were very like nurturing with them or like maybe you kind of gave them some tough love as well. It's like something, you tried to help them get out of this energy is what I'm feeling. And it stuck with them. Whatever it is that you said, it really stuck with them. And now there's so much that they want to say to you. Yeah, but I think it's been a, a while since you guys have talked. So they don't, you know, they said, I, it says, here, I feel you pulling away from me. I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. So some of them don't know if you would still give them another chance. So because so much time has gone by, I'm afraid you'll break my heart. It's hard for me to fully trust you. But yeah, they, they want to trust you, though. I have thought about going on a vacation with you. You're so different. Yeah, see, you're so different than anyone I've ever met. You've helped me become a better person. I'm aware that we're telepathically communicating. We have a deep spiritual bond. My feelings for you are stronger than I let on. Yeah, I feel like when you guys met, they just had so much chaos and they didn't want to, want to drag you down. So I really feel like they downplayed a lot of that chaos. But I think that the love was was stronger than they let you know. You know what I mean? It just, it just wasn't the right timing. I think they just, they weren't prepared for it. It was just so intense and it came on, you know, they felt so strongly for you in such a short amount of time. And I feel like they were busy, you know, their life, you know, they were numb, they were busy, their life was chaotic, they were running on autopilot. So it's they, they weren't used to feeling all those emotions all at once. So it seems like they kind of took a step back for a little while and they had some, you know, growing up to do. And yeah, it seems like they're going through a birthing process now. They're going through some kind of psychic awakening. They are maturing. Um, I'm just getting that this person might have lost your number or they might not know where to find you. Like maybe this is someone you met somewhere and like they don't know how to contact you. Maybe you have them blocked or they just don't. I feel like you either have them blocked or like they just have no idea. Like maybe this is like an old neighbor or this is someone like that had feelings for you. But it's like they just don't know how to find you. There feels like some kind of block there. Like they feel like 
they just feel like you might have moved on because so much time has passed. Because I feel like maybe you gave them an ultimatum and like maybe they didn't say much. Like they didn't really respond. Like they just, they had so much on their plate that they couldn't even deal with their emotions. So they just shut down. They just shut you out and just kind of slowly moved on from it. Um, like they just, there was just so much going on in their life at the time. And I'm not trying to make excuses for this person. I'm just, you know, I'm just telling you what it is. I'm just telling you what the energy is. It's up to you. You guys are all adults. It's up to you if you want to give this another chance or not. Um, I mean, I don't know if I'd personally give this another chance. It just seems like, you know, this person probably should have figured it out earlier on. But I will say, I do feel like this person has matured. I feel like if you do the, give this another chance, I would say you need to set some firm boundaries. You need, you need the truth from this person. You need to make sure this person's open with you and that they're committed to being open and honest and vulnerable with you. And I would definitely set firm boundaries if you do allow this into your life. But yeah, I'm feeling like they're, they're having a hard time finding you or they're just not sure if you would give them another chance. So it's kind of up to you where you take this. Um, thank you guys for watching. As always, if you want a private reading, just send me, a, send me an email. It's dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Um, I appreciate you guys. And yeah, any donations are appreciated as well. My donation links are below. And please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thanks.